All right, I've been teasing a lot on the channel. We've got the Macara Carvera Air. That is a desktop CNC machine in the shop and we've been playing with it for a few months now because we wanted to make sure we got you all the information, what it could do, what it can't do, who should buy it, who shouldn't buy it, and what you can do with it. We're gonna walk you through some of the little demos. You know, they always build them into these machines and they send you with some extra material to kind of get you started learning the basic skill set. Because this isn't a 3D printer and it's definitely not a laser, unless you buy the laser module. Uh, but we're gonna show, walk you through the demo stuff and then we're gonna show you some more practical kind of stuff that you could do, real world kind of things that you could actually use. All right, let's jump into it. Tool change, bit angle. Tool change, lever, angle. All right, and here you can see it doing its Z probe and auto leveling features, which is nice on a device like this, so it takes out some of that hard work for you. Okay, so magnetic dust shoe attachment here, that removed air control nozzle, and then you can direct air with this nozzle here and line it up. Can't generally do both the dust shoe and vacuum at the same time. You can set up your workpiece wherever it fits, wherever it needs to be, and you can find the origin with the XYZ probe. The touch probe, which is just the little placeholder that is shipped I believe in the collet. So this is our XYZ probe receiver. It's got a little magnet that attaches to the collet. As you can see, this has a 90 degree here that we will line up with this point here. We're gonna take a little tape and secure that. Okay, so we're going to take the touch probe and we're going to line it up so that it's inside and above touch there now it's pointing directly at the origin of the workpiece and it knows the height as well so now it knows to start machining right at that point there Quick example of fourth axis setup. And then we slot in. All right, our first demo project here, starting with the fourth axis, because why not? It's uh, out of a poly epoxy kind of block here, and you'll see what we get out of it. All right, you saw all the demos. And again, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine, especially because I do a lot of stuff in the 3D printer world, and you see that if you've been around the channel, you know I do a lot of stuff with lasers. So much of the stuff that I see people make, and I'm I'm trying to be, I'm not trying to be negative per se, but, but for me, I'm a really 
you know, a really kind of practical kind of person. I'm a Midwesterner and, you know, I want to know what can I make that I can actually use. A lot of people making great pieces of art, a lot of people making really cool toys and stuff. But, you know, as something that, you know, this isn't going to do stainless steel, at least not like super deep stainless steel. You could probably do a little sheet metal with it. Uh, you're not going to do, you know, anything that's like a tool grade kind of metal. So what could could my viewers use to to build stuff out of like the hardest materials you can get are aluminum brass. And of course, the first thing I think of is like, you know, car parts and stuff like that. But we wanted to go a little bit outside and we wanted to do something in brass because it's actually a little bit harder to work with. At least that's what I found. And uh, let's see if you can guess uh, what we got here. I'll give you a little bit more of a, an image on, on what's going on there. All right, and this is real time. I know I showed a lot of sped up stuff, but this is a single pass on a brass cylinder, real time, just so you get an understanding of how long this stuff takes. The total finished project on this, probable runtime would, I would say is three days. Uh, that's including starts and stops and all the other stuff we had going into it. But I mean, like the act, each pass on this was 12 to what, like 14 or so hours. It was incredibly long because you had to take very small portions off. And I would say definitely do not leave the cover open. We just did this for filming because those, <laughs> that little glitter there is sharp, as they like to say. Anyway, we also had to make a couple jigs here. We actually we had to make a whole bunch of jigs. Find center, hold it in place while doing some really interesting cuts. So there's a lot more that goes into this than just throwing it in the machine and hitting go. You gotta really think out the whole process. It's not as simple as a CNC machine or a laser. That said, here's some of the results. This is the plaque. Now I'll say this, the detail on this is not as good as it could have been. We didn't have a vacuum at that time. There's Audrey Hepburn with the laser. It looks good, but meh. And, the, and Nefertiti there. All right, you saw it on, on the screen. Here it is. That is a mouthpiece for a trumpet. And granted, it's not a tool, but I've got a lot of friends who are fairly musical. In fact, back in the day, I even used to play the trumpet. I'm not very good and probably banned in several states. But I just wanted to show you up close what this thing can do because the quality on this is fairly amazing. When it first came out, it was the first couple of passes. I'm like, this thing is sharp. I wouldn't want to touch this. And at this point, I could honestly see myself walking into a music store and paying, you know, top dollar for this. Imagine you had a machine like this. You could be churning these kind of things out. And I'm sure there's dozens of other things out there that you could think of. Before I go into like the price of the machine and all the stuff you can get with it, I want you to take a second, go down in the comments and let me know what would you make with this that isn't just, you know, an art piece, isn't just for fun, a toy or something like that. What would you, what else would you make? Of course, the other thing I thought of was gaskets, but uh, I don't think I need to buy a machine like this just to make gaskets. Anyway, let's take a look at it. So what we got here is their their main website and we got, they have their, their big boy machine. This is the Carvera desktop CNC. It starts at 5,500. That's the back to school sale price. And then once you add extras onto it, you're looking at a six grand uh, plus if you want more milling bits and stuff like that, which you're probably gonna want. It's a cool machine. It's got automatic tool changing the whole nine yards, but out of the out of the grasp of the average person. Now this, I it's not cheap. I'm not sitting here telling you that this thing is a bargain basement that anybody can go out and buy it. But if you're serious, if you can find that, you know, if you want to make things for the local art show and sell them of that, then then more power to you. It's gonna pay for itself. But I'm looking at this as you know, as a tool guy for a shop, what could I make with this? And, you know, my first thought was, I'm not gonna be able to do anything because I can't really do hardened metals and stuff like that. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought about it, I mean, I could make, I could make molds for casting. I could make, uh, you know, uh, you know, there's aluminum parts for a lot of different things that you could make. And then I started thinking about the brass thing. I got a buddy who plays saxophone. He's like, oh, could you make a saxophone mouthpiece? And then I thought about what a saxophone mouthpiece looked like, and I'm like, no, are you nuts? But having played trumpet back in the day, I was like, but I could totally make one of these, especially with that fourth access in there. And this, is, again, I'm, I'm kind of gushing about it. It really came out, you know, nice. I'm really, really happy with this.
But that said, you know, do you need a 25, even on sale, $2,500 machine? Now, if you add the laser in there, because the laser doesn't come, come with it, but it is only a $50 bump to add the laser. The fourth access, I think there is a lot of need there for the fourth access. A lot of the projects we came up with required the fourth ac access. And then there's a combo with those, and then the all-in-one bundle brings it up to $3,300. And of course, then you have all the extras. And speaking of extras, they got a lot of extra stuff on, on here. Let me pull it up here. They've got uh, their own new dust collector here. You can buy the fourth access, the laser module, all of that separately. New collets, uh, you know, all the brackets and the hold downs and everything else. Uh, replacement parts, more scene, like the whole CNC bits, that's actually a nice add-on to have. Some of the materials, I get it. it, it could be in some places where it's hard to source materials. Hon honestly, uh, I bought my materials off of Amazon, probably not the best place to get them, but every place else I looked at for bulk materials, they wanted you to buy bulk materials, and I wasn't prepared to do that right now. Now, here's the thing, Here is this. who is this for? And it's, like I said before, I kind of led into it and built along the way, it's for the person who already knows what they're gonna do with it. Uh, for the person who's either A, they've got like some craft fair or crafty kind of business and they're gonna do something like that. Or the person who's going to be, I don't know, starting their own business making these. There are websites I've seen where people do custom mouth, and they sell for like two to $300 each. That's quite a business if you could be selling custom, like, oh, you want a one millimeter difference? Sure, we can make that for you. Um, but that said, there's other businesses I'm sure out there you could do. You could do some custom car parts, stuff like that. Again, mold making, that kind of thing. Uh, but who it's not for is the person who needs to work in tool steel. People are going to work in harder materials. And then also the other thing is on the other end of the spectrum, I saw a lot of stuff where I'm just like, because I did watch a lot of videos to get inspiration as what people were making. And a lot of the stuff I'm like, 3D printer. That should be a laser. That should be a 3D printer. That should be a laser. You should have cut that out with a hacksaw. A lot of this stuff that I see people doing with these machines, it, it's cool. It's really cool. But I have $2,500 base to do that? No, I think you'll be better off a lot of times. So remember, it's a tool. You got to choose the right tool for the right job. Uh, the fact that it's got a laser in it, I would not. I Don't get me wrong. Audrey Hepburn, gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. Love her. Love Audrey. Breakfast or Tiffany's, of course, but I would not buy it for the laser. I would not justify it because of the laser. Now, one of the areas I left out on purpose was the first thing that most people think about when they think about this, which is PCBs. And if you're in PCBs, then you already know the answer, okay? Uh, you don't need me telling you about it. Uh, I don't do a lot of PCB builds, as in any. I have in the past, and that's why I don't do them anymore. Uh, you know, and if I do the one-off kind of things, I don't need a CNC machine for that. So the laser and the CNC, if you're doing PCB boards, you know the answer. Anything else, uh, I know, maybe I'm missing some stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. Put it down below if you think I am. School me on this. I'd love to hear about it. But that said, I think there's a very niche market that this thing is for. And for some people, maybe completing the other 20% of an 80% project. Maybe that is, I don't know, that's up to you. Let me know what you think. Uh, I hope you like what we did here. If you want, there's other project stuff you'd love to see with this, put it down in the comments. Don't forget to check out the links. Thanks to McCara for sending this over. It's quite a piece of machine. And uh, it was really blessed to have this in our shop and I hope to find more uses for it. And if we do, we will definitely include those in future videos. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on. Thank <laughs> you.